Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with another design team project for Birch Press Designs. Now you can see by the title, I'm not focusing on just one layered die set. I am using many, 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 lots of them. So I came up with, um, you know, we have silhouettes. So these are just the layer sets that I'm going to use. Uh, the Paradiso Butterfly. Um, the Kaleidoscope Heart, the Aurora layer set, and the Splash layer set. Now, I am going to be using these as a layer. I have some Desert Storm cut to be four by five and a quarter. I have six card bases here, and I have some white bases that are cut to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So I'm going to layer the desert, the desert storm on top of the white. So this is just going to frame it just a little bit. And all of the card bases that I have there are standard size four and a, a standard A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And they are all top folding. I chose pastels. Now, you can choose any colors that you want. So the where I use Desert Storm, you could choose another colored cardstock. Where I use the white, you, again, could use another colored cardstock. Use what's in your stash. But what I'm showing here and what I'm kind of going through is using minimal cardstock. You don't have to have every color in the world. You can use just some basic colors, and I'm kind of going to create the reverse type of silhouette. Usually when we think of silhouettes, a silhouette image, we're thinking of the black, the shadow, which by all means, that's usually my first thought as well. But in this case, I'm going to create a white. One of the things that is great with the layered dyes is if you use light colors, you'll be able to see this dimension. Now, sometimes it's a little difficult if you should use black or dark blue, but I went to town die cutting. I mean, here's, here's the, the mess. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it a mess. Um, but I also want to show you, um, I used my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. These pieces literally just fall out. Um, you know, doing all of this, it's just the really small pieces where I'm using my tool in one, um, just to pop them out. But in general, I mean, they do, I can just roll this right through my fingers and all these pieces just come out. So I've got, and if you, as you can see, I'm doing this as a production line. So I did all of my bases first, you know, pulled out my card bases, set those aside. They're ready to go. Then I made my two layered pieces, set those up, set those aside. And then I just had fun at the die cutting machine and I just die cut. And again, this is just a uh, heavyweight white cardstock. Um, I do like to use a heavyweight when I am using these dies. I think it adds more dimension and texture. Um, and it just gives that height. It, it adds to the shadow. Sometimes if we use the uh, thinner weight, the lighter weights, the 65 pound, um, you don't get that deep cut within each of the layers. You, you just don't get those steps that are shown. Um, so I do like to use a 110 or a 120 weight cardstock when I do use these um, dies. And as I said, you can see these pieces are just falling through um, I found it very, very relaxing to just sit there, believe it or not, <laughs> and just let these pieces fly, create my piles. Again, once I have these all taken apart and removed all the little tiny pieces, um, and everything else that goes with that, once I can get this area cleaned, then the next thing that I'm going to do and that you'll see is I'm going to glue these pieces together. Now I do like to use a liquid glue when I'm adhering my pieces. Um, I just think it sticks better. 
don't get me wrong, I have used the double-sided adhesives so that, you know, once I peel off that, I can just stick them all together. Um, but I'll be honest, I forget. Um, but I do have a very fine tip nozzle. The liquid glue that I'm using is my Art Glitter Glue. Um, that is one of my favorites. Um, there are a few that I do have. Um, but I like the fact that the Art Glitter Glue is a little bit thinner. And I can spread that out with this nozzle. And I just graze across these pieces. Especially those that are the top layer. If they should get very thin. Um, and it just puts a nice coat. For the pieces that have the centers that can come out, I do put glue around the outside and then I take my finger and rub it along just to smooth that out um, and to pop that back into the center. So I have some glue on the outside that'll hold it. Now, it's not that you really need to do that. Um, I just didn't know when I started this. It was an idea that I had really late one night so I didn't know if I was going to finish this whole um, videotaping of this process that I did. So I just wanted to make sure that they stayed together. You really don't have to do that because when you put it on your card base, you're going to glue both of the pieces down anyway onto your card base. So you shouldn't lose um, the center piece in any way. Although it's, you never know with me. So you can see I've got the splash put together. I'm now working on Aurora and I'm just going through and just continuing to layer all of these pieces together. You can see with the white, you can just see the steps. And when you use that thick, heavy cardstock, it just provides that dimension just a little bit more. So for the heart, that's going to be handled the same way as the two circles, the kaleidoscope heart. Now for my butterflies, and again, I'm using the Paradiso and the Genevieve. So that little tiny mat there is just a piece of silicone. Um, and the only thing that I wanted to, where I'm putting my liquid glue is directly in the center of these butterflies. Once I place all of those pieces together, these wings just come up from the center and I did not now by all means you can glue them flat they are beautiful if you glue them flat but since I was just using the white I would still have the dimension but just to see those wings coming up to give it that dimension um it's absolutely gorgeous these dyes are are beautiful and so detailed um, the bottom, the bodies after you put them on with the long antennas that just come up, they're just absolutely gorgeous. And then these little guys here um, are a perfect complement to it. So I use that little silicone mat because again, the glue can ooze out and then I get it all over my craft mat and then it, it's just a mess. So it was safe with that. So now I'm grabbing those layered mats that I have and I'm just creating my focal points. These images that we've die cut are, tech, are the focal point. So instead of the black silhouettes that I'm used to, um, we're going to create those white ones. They don't have to be centered onto your mats or your card bases. They can be put at any angle. So you can see I've put one in the center. I've made a landscape one, putting that one in the center. I put the heart up in the upper right hand corner. Um, I'm taking this butterfly. That one's going to be towards the top, but in the center. Um, so about three quarters of the way up. For the three small butterflies, I'm going to have them coming up on a landscape, coming up along the side as if they're flying up the side of the card. And again, you can leave these like this. These would be great note cards. Um, these could be great birthday cards. I do like to have a bunch of these on hand. These, these general blank cards. Because then I can turn them into anything that I want. I can make them a birthday card. I can make them a congratulations or a thank you or just a note or 
um, with sympathy or get well. Um, and that's simply by adding a sentiment later. But I did feel that these, all of these sets that I have together, I like that butterfly so much I made too. I had to use uh, the sugar script friend and shine. Um, and again, even though they said, they say friend and shine, you can still make them happy birthday to a friend. You can make them shine to a friend. I mean, you can add all of these wonderful sentiments to them. So these cards, I have six cards here. The time is the die cutting. It does take that time to get them through your die cutter um, and to weed out all of those pieces. But honestly, with all of these pieces that I had, it took me about 15, 20 minutes to do all of that weeding. And now I have six beautiful cards that are ready to send. Now those where I put the sentiment right across the center of my circles, I made sure I cut another piece of the desert storm so that that sentiment would pop up. You can embellish these any way that you would like. You could add your sparkle pen and then put your glossy accents on top. You can add pearls, you can add gems, you can, I, you can add white Nuvo drops, you can add a white gel pen spots to the back. You can use white paint and splatter across these. These are perfect for whatever you're looking to do. So I hope you did enjoy today's project using the layering dies from Birch Press Designs. All the products that I used will be linked down below, as always. Any questions or comments that you may have, please make sure you leave those down below as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today and watching my video. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so that you don't miss the next. I hope everyone is having a great day. Remember, take care, but remember what's most important for me. Always be creative.